What is going on guys? It's Cyberwar92 here. Welcome to the channel and just in case you're new, welcome every Monday and Tuesday I make variety content such as Fortnite montages on Monday and Tuesday, uh, Wednesday and Thursday variety content and Friday, Saturday and Sunday is train card game of Yu-Gi-Oh! And yeah, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on that post notifications, share everyone you know, and let's try to get to 3,000 subscribers end of the year. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but yeah, let's make it happen. I know you guys can do it. So today's video, we're going to be talking, well, I will be talking about what have you taught me in life. So I have 15 I wrote down, and yeah, if I forget anything, you guys can put in the comments, let me know, and yeah, let's get started. Coming in number one, make friends. Yes, I love making friends and it's really cool to go all around the world. And for me, I'm a really shy person, so it's pretty cool, like something that I like. So it's easy to make friends with, like trade, talk to people, your opponent, stuff like that. It's a really cool environment. And I am grateful to be in the opportunity um, for the community as well. Company number two, a connections. Connections is so cool. Um, you get to know somebody, not just like the game in general, but like get to know somebody in life. Yeah, like like this game, like is like part of my family. Like every one of you guys that I I hang out or talk to, you guys like are are the homies, you know. And yeah. Coming in number three, traveling, food culture, and food. So it's pretty cool. Um, like any like tournaments, always travel the world, meet new people, and like you have the experience as well. And you get to learn the culture, maybe or history about it, or food. We all love food, so end of the day we get super hungry because like during rounds there's so many rounds like usually eight or nine rounds depending bigger events usually 10 to like 11 rounds depending on the events but yeah coming in number four digging outside the box this is a really good one critical thinking so you want to make the best play as possible and like it's not just like the game in general it's also good in real life as well the more you think outside the box, the more you're gonna figure out like, like more problems that that you're in a situation. You're gonna find that answer to like find a way, like mo like not just that one answer, but multiple answers if that is possible. Coming in number five, reading. Yes, reading have taught me as much. I'm a very slow development learner. I have a disability. Not that many people know, but I'm okay talking about it. So reading isn't my best subject. I don't really like reading, but if it's in Yu-Gi-Oh, I do love it. So I get to know what's going on. And yeah, and it helped me as a better player as well. And and also like for school in general. So that's that's pretty cool. Like like it's so funny that like I don't like reading, but like in Yu-Gi-Oh, I do love reading as well. Company number six, math. It's really cool doing math calculation as subtract, multiply. So you want to make the best uh, play as possible to win that game. So it's pretty good. And yeah, it's also good for real life as well. Number seven, create memories, good times and bad times. I actually really like this one. One of my favorite out of the top 15. The reason why is that like, this game literally changed my life so much. I'm literally grateful like you every people I hang out with, meet new people. Like I have horrible memories. It's actually true. Um like my memory is so awful that I don't remember stuff, but like if it's about this game, oh my gosh, I literally still remember like any events that I go to or like whatever happened during rounds most likely or whatever happened um at a certain event as well. So yeah, it's pretty cool and I'm grateful for like all those memories as well. Coming number 8, content creator. It's really cool, all these YouTuber are making like these contents for you guys and also help you guys as a better player in a day. It's pretty cool get some coverage, get some knowledge from pro players. So we 
we as a player start improving over time from their experience and help like help everyone to like get a major top such as regional YCS national and yeah these are a huge accomplish like like can literally change somebody's life like the price like it's actually pretty decent and coming in number nine experience so having much as knowledge as possible so basically what i'm saying for experience such as practicing for an event that comes up the more uh play tests you have and the more you will feel comfortable you want to know what's the format like you know what is the site in and out you know what's your good matchup what's your worst matchup and you will literally prepare for anything as much as possible and yeah coming in number 10 psychology so this is actually a really interesting one that like back in the day i did not play back in the day during goat format so i got into goat like not that long ago probably a couple years ago and it's crazy that some players actually bluff like people think oh they set a monster they all think it's like you're a magician of fate or something like that and then it turned out it's a different card or like a pro player set heavy storm they would think the other the other opponent would think oh it's a trapper i'm not going to attack into it your opponent said multiple cards you just activate heavy storm like that is like ridiculous as well and you can like also bluff people as well too so that's usually the main thing so like pretend you really have that card you really don't or maybe you do who knows but yeah so it's like a 50 50 so you either read read a card or you don't read a card at all how many number 11 uh, preventing uh people from stealing yes there it's crazy that there's a lot of people that steal cards and make money off of it like i felt so bad anyone in a situation that like got their stuff stolen i felt so bad and i'm so sorry so it's good that like we all learn that like end of the day it's a it's a kids card game this game is very expensive so always put your stuff in front of you don't bring too much stuff and also this relate to real life is that like there can be people that steal stuff out there so like rob you so always be careful watch your surrounding and don't trust anyone you know like your friends like sure like i'm not saying like trust your friends but like sometimes like oh like you just tell your friend can i um can you can you hold my backpack or something like that why are you using the restroom like sometimes they will listen to you sometimes they say yeah they will listen to you but technically not really so i wouldn't trust anyone including yourself because like end of the day that is your um your your materials so like you spend a lot of money that's on you and nobody is in responsibility besides you so yep time management number 12 time management time management is key uh this also relates to real life and Yu-Gi-Oh is that you want to get ready for like registration Know all your deck list, all that stuff. Wake up in the morning, have breakfast, get enough energy as much as possible so you like prepare for the event. Cause like usually it will be a long round, and if you want to do like well in like an event or that you really want to top or win all the way, you have to do time management and like real life. You had a time management like work, school, um uh workout stuff like that so you don't go all over the places as well so it's like basically like a guidance planner number 13 this is a hobby i actually really like this one um it's usually most common but i just want to add to it so it's hobby it's a lifestyle and gaming end of the day so i'm grateful that i play this game and like sure it's a kids card game but like this game can be very difficult and very expensive as well lifestyle I'm not quite sure if it's lifestyle, but I feel like I would say so. You guys let me know in the comments that um, would you guys consider this a lifestyle. So I would say um, somewhat that like it, like it is like help me as a player like to know what's the real world, what is it like. Like for example, time management, connection, talking to friends, get to meet new people, and everything that relates to stuff like that. And like. It's a game in a day, so you either do well or not. So, yeah. Number 14, the last one is supporting your locals. Supporting your locals as much as possible, and it will help them a lot. And you have no idea, it will help them. And 
end of the day, it's good to support your locals because they're to help you to get the cards that that you don't have or sometimes they don't have it, they can order the cards for you and yeah, they just want, they just want to help every player as much as they can to do well in events and yeah. If you guys made a video all the way to the end, I would say thank you, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, turn on that post notification, and also if you guys want to send me any fan mail, I will put down in the description or in the video on the left or right hand corner, so just in case you guys want to send me stuff. And your boy Cyberborn92 is signing out, peace.